So, this video is about the top tier jungle picks right now, and I guarantee you that this list will be one of the best you'll ever see. Let's start right away. Let's start with Assassins. Lancelot has been one of the most consistently amazing and deadliest assassins in MLBB, with a touch of style in the way he executes his skills, and currently, one of the most popular picks. His exceptional mobility, coupled with multiple dash skills and dodge capability, allows him to eliminate squishy targets before they can escape. This makes him a favorite hero among assassin users. Even pro players like Onik Carey and Echo Kaltizi are absolutely creating amazing Lancelot montages because of how fun he is to use and his complex mechanics. In the hands of a fast-fingered player, Lancelot can easily engage in ganks, dive towers, and execute any hero on the opponent's side with a single combo. Since Lancelot is a challenging hero to play, mastering him properly first is not easy, unlike most other heroes in Mobile Legends. Another complex assassin in the jungle is Ling. His skill set also requires practice, especially his ultimate, where you need great positioning to successfully catch all four Tempest of Blades. His capability to jump on walls and catch enemies off guard with his skills is what makes Ling a very dangerous assassin. As a hero with high mobility, Ling can easily move around the battlefield, making him a valuable asset in any team composition. One more good thing about his abilities is that he can effortlessly engage in and out of combat. With his powerful burst damage, Ling remains a popular choice for players looking to take control of the game. Talking about an easy hero, Karina is for you. Unlike difficult to use assassins, Karina is very easy to use and easy to master. You just need to understand Karina's ultimate, which is her best skill. Karina dashes to the target, dealing them magic damage, applying a shadow mark to them, and if the enemy dies within the duration, the cooldown of this skill is reset. Make sure to avoid using your ultimate in a bad situation. When your ultimate is used correctly, Karina can be deadly, erasing anything she sees. Look at how strong she is. She just instantly deletes anybody with her burst damage in her way. Moving on to Hayabusa. He is not too easy, but not too complicated. Hayabusa possesses high burst damage due to his ultimate and first skill. He can be invincible while in his ultimate skill process. Additionally, he has a fast wave clearing ability using his ultimate and first skill. What everyone likes about Hayabusa is that he can attack an opponent without receiving damage from the turret or any enemy hero, even when he is within the range of the turret, thanks to the invulnerability of his ultimate. Chasing enemies is one of his specialties. You can run, but you can't hide. That's why he is a solid pick in the jungle. Moving on to the most complex hero, Fanny is one of the most versatile and hardest heroes to master. It takes months or even years of practice for a user to learn Fanny effectively. However, once you manage to master her, you can dominate every rank in Mobile Legends. This player has 20,000 matches on Fanny, and you can see how polished his movements are. What everyone likes about Fanny is that she can cable straight from the base to a certain location on the map. A common mistake new Fanny users make is jumping straight into ranked matches without practicing first. It's crucial to practice, considering how important it is. Additionally, ensure you maximize energy efficiency while using Fanny and memorize the locations of walls. Overall, Fanny is one of the trickiest and most powerful assassins in the game and will never be forgotten in the meta. Next up is Joy, the first Leonin assassin in Mobile Legends. She stands out as one of the more unique jungle heroes in the game, grooving to the beat to unleash maximum damage on enemies. Although challenging at first, mastering Joy becomes easier after several matches. Joy has a good set of area of effect skills, buffs, movement speed, and dash abilities, which make her a perfect assassin. She is also feared by mages and marksmen as she can dive towers, use her skills to gain movement speed, burst damage, and a shield to kill a opponents and then escape immediately. Her ultimate is what makes her scary because it has an immunity effect and making Joy unstoppable. She is one of the top tier junglers in high ranks and big tournaments. Meanwhile, you can spam and use Joy from epic to legend rank straight to the mythic rank because she can solo carry a game, so take full advantage of her until she gets banned. Similar to Joy, Harley is another hero that is good for solo ranked matches and can push your rank into mythic. He can instantly erase one hero on the opponent's side and deal a good amount of burst damage. Make sure to target the hero dealing the most damage in the enemy. And now, moving on to Nolan. The top tier jungle assassin, the most picked, and the most banned hero in ranked matches and big tournaments right now. One reason why he is in the top tier jungle right now, even after his nerf, is because he is extremely strong from the early game to the late game. He can jungle very fast, gank effectively with skills that have a small amount of energy consumption, and can easily snowball in the game. 
Another thing is that all his skills have a low cooldown, allowing him to repeatedly use any variation of his combo. Besides that, his combo is very easy to execute, and he is not as complicated as a jungle assassin compared to Fanny. If you're looking for a jungle assassin hero that's easy to use, very strong, and has cool combos, this one is for you. Top tier teams in the tournament ensure it's either banned or picked. Overall, he is very strong. Now, let's explore the utility jungle or tank jungle, which counters the assassin jungle. Now, let's begin with Baxia. Like all tank junglers, Baxia's built-in durability enables him to lead a strong frontline and control objectives. However, what distinguishes distinguishes him from other meta heroes is his extraordinary mobility. He can easily invade enemy camps to deny buffs. Likewise, this allows him to put significant pressure on the lanes, as he's always ready to gank. In situations when your team is struggling around objectives, use Baxia's shield unity to rotate around the pits to gain vision. It will take practice, but once you get a hold of the joystick control, you will be able to maneuver around the map without getting disrupted. Unlike Assassin's Jungle, a utility jungle like Baxia is excellent for the Lord Dance, as you won't take lethal damage due to your tankiness. If the enemy support or mage tries to kill or burst you, you can sustain the damage and turn the tables on them. Overall, Baxia is a good utility jungle and can be a bully in ML, making him a great choice if you want a tank jungle. When the tank jungle meta became widely recognized in Mobile Legends, jungle Kai quickly gained popularity in both ranked and competitive play. His decent damage and mobility allow him to outplay opponents, and his ultimate, Heavy Spin, can stun lock enemies for four seconds. Akai's Heavy Spin can be devastating in team fights, creating chaos and disrupting the enemy team's plans, so it's easier for him to invade and steal enemy buffs. Next up is Fredrin. If you're the type of player who loves tanking damage for your team and dealing crowd control in clutch moments, you will love Tank Jungle Fredrin. He has very high sustainability, durability, and a spammable set of skills, which is why he's a top favorite in the utility jungle right now, even in the pro scene. This hero is very suitable for intense team fights and tower dives, as he can easily soak up damage while also recovering his lost HP more easily. Make sure to focus in his passive that can convert the stored crystal energy into HP by 30% of his damage dealt. Now, let's talk about the top hero for the utility jungle, Barats. Barats has a unique passive that allows him to change size. Detona gains a stack of big guy for a few seconds each time Detona or Barats damages an enemy with their skills, up to several stacks. Utilize his passive and take advantage of it by constantly engaging in fights to maintain your size. That's why this hero is excellent for invading the enemy jungle and stealing their resources but make sure to bring allies to the fight to avoid being outnumbered by the enemy. This is the main problem of a Barats user. They become overconfident and charge alone, thinking they can handle everything because of his passive. You can use his passive as an advantage, but don't be too greedy. Expect that you will pay for it. His ultimate can charge and devour enemies and making you immune to any crowd control. Therefore, Barats's overall abilities place him at the top tier of the utility jungle list right now. Let's proceed to the fighter jungles. Guinevere is easily one of the top fighter junglers, considering that she is consistently picked in big tournaments and high rank games. Her unique long duration crowd control capability makes her a powerful threat against any single hero. Enemies tend to hide due to the fear of getting caught and killed by Guinevere when she is not revealing her position on the map. You just need to learn to execute her combo in the right sequence. Guinevere is a versatile multi-role hero and can be used in other lanes, such as the X lane and as a roamer. Fighter jungle serves as a counter for utility jungle, and a perfect example of this is Alpha. And it is because of his true damage from the passive and the incredible amount of spell vamp that contribute to his effectiveness. The Spear of Alpha, his ultimate, provides excellent sustainability and crowd control skills, coupled with reliable damage. You can use these aspects together to control the tempo of the game. Like Alpha, Dirith is also an ultimate counter to utility jungle and tanky heroes due to his second skill, Spectre Step, that can reduce up to 75% of the enemy's armor for 4 seconds. This is a very powerful ability that can erase any hero he wants to eliminate. He is also very effective for solo rank. Balmond is very strong in the early game, suitable for ganking lanes with his AoE ability and for hunting mages and marksmen. Balmond proves to be quite effective in climbing to mythic rank and performing well in solo rank matches. Our top hero for jungle fighter is none other than Martis. He is a complete package jungler with multiple crowd control skills, control immunity, attack speed buff, and burst physical damage from his ultimate that resets right away when you take down an enemy hero using it. He is a monster in the early to mid game, and the good news is 
is, he is very easy to use. The important thing to remember is, you need to skill four times to activate your passive that gives you attack speed and additional bonuses in full stacks. When an enemy hero's HP drops below a certain percentage, a mark will appear beneath them, helping you determine when to strike them with the ultimate to reset the cooldown after you kill your target. Therefore, Martis is one of the best junglers, so take advantage while he's not getting nerfed. Now let's talk about the Marksman junglers. Granger requires no mana and has no energy bar, yet he is extremely effective in the early game due to his very high burst damage and mobility. Additionally, he does not fall behind in damage during the late game. His fast movement speed is also a factor in why he's a good jungler and can always make outplays due to his mobility. The rising trend for jungler Popol and Koopa secures our top spot for MM junglers. The reason behind this is that on the latest patch, Koopa can now deal additional damage to jungle monsters. One more thing is that he is so flexible and can sustain in battle because of Koopa, making him a crucial asset in the jungle. His traps are very useful for gaining vision from the enemy and can set up an ambush when the enemy makes a positional mistake. He can disrupt opponents in battle with his distance advantage, dealing damage from a safe distance without taking any damage himself. However, it's crucial to keep Koopa safe and not let him die easily. Call back Koopa when he takes too much damage. Keep in mind that I mentioned only the most updated and effective jungle heroes but all heroes in the jungle are powerful in their own way. I will continue to work hard to keep you guys updated in the meta. See you guys in the next video.